Good morning, my name is Charles de Foucault. I'm the general manager of Ayana Resort and Spa in Bali. Can you tell us a bit about Ayana? Ayana is a very special place, uh, located in Jimbaran. Um, used to be the Ritz-Carlton, so everybody knows the location. Been there for 13 years, but Ayana is only one year old because we uh, relaunched the product on April 1st, 2009. Located on 77 hectares, um, 290 rooms, 78 private villas, 1.3 kilometer of coastline, um, just a spectacular place in Bali. And how was your first year? First year was excellent. Uh, we've been able to put the resort on the map, won the World Travel Award for the um, leading Asian resort, uh, just got the, um, an award from Condé Nast for the number one spa in the world, so we've got, uh, we've got some, uh, some good positioning for the hotel. And it was, uh, it was a challenging year because 2009 has been challenging for everyone, but it was good. It was very good. And what's your strategy? It's very much a leading edge, cutting edge architecture. Yes, it is. Uh, we've done quite a few, um, qu quite a bit of renovation to the hotel. Uh, we relaunched, uh, launched actually uh, the Rock Bar, uh, which is becoming world famous. Uh, we already have the spa on the rocks and all these different things that are masterpieces. Um, we have the hotel part where we've been targeting, um, you know, leisure traveler, group segment, um, and then the boutique where we really spend some time uh, for our top-of-the-line clientels. Now the luxury market in the area is very competitive. What do you do to distinguish yourself from the competition? Well, <clears throat> we have no neighbors. We are not stuck in a, in a small piece of land. I think, uh, uh, you know, the market that have exploded are China, Korea, Japan, and those are, they're pretty compressed. So when people come on vacation, they want the feeling of, you know, the, the, the expense, and um, they, We've been able to showcase that with, uh, with our villa. Um, we have a spectacular product, uh, and every villa has a beautiful view of the ocean, and it's really been able to distinguish itself. There's a lot of place to walk. There is 13 food and beverage outlet, a lot to choose from. Uh, Jimbaran is a, is a very special place on earth, so. And is it a particularly tough challenge trying to balance the need to get away from it all and be in a luxury environment? with the need to provide the very, very best service in the world. How, how do you balance the two? No, I, you know, we are blessed with being in Bali. We've got the people of Bali who have such a warm hospitality. And, um, you know, luxury is all about anticipation, fulfilling the need of the customer, uh, feeling welcome. And um, we, we have a solid base from the staff. We kept the original staff from Ritz Carlton, who has done a great job. And uh, we've, we've just built on that through training and the natural hospitality of the people. We're really able to, you know, push the luxury to, 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 to the maximum because we, we can anticipate, we can, we can do so much when people are ready to absorb like this. And your efforts have been rewarded this year as well. You've been nominated in the World Travel Awards. The announcements came out yesterday, Asia's leading spa and Asia's leading luxury villa. That's correct, we are very excited. We're very excited because uh, we've done a lot and uh, you know, being recognized you know, by, uh, by the World Travel Award uh, means a lot to us. So we, we're very excited, very excited. Let's see what happens. <laughs> now you've been in the, the business a long while. You're one of the veterans' most respected figures in the, in the industry in Asia. How do you see the market evolving, particularly the luxury market evolving over the next decade? Very competitive. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's going to become confusing for the customer because there is just so much out there uh, and there is there's just so many products and so many locations to choose from. I think um, although the internet will take over in terms of search, I think your travel agent is still going to remain a very important component. You're going to need someone you can trust for your vacation because it'll simply be overload, information overload, and you'll be like, where, where to go now? So I think, you know, we'll, we'll find a happy medium where the hotel that have existed, the hotel that have a good reputation, um, will be able to, to sustain. Um, and, you know, luxury business is, is growing, especially in this part of the world. We are lucky to have China, who's the growing luxury customer, uh, who's going to fuel that, uh, so it, it, we, we're in a good part of the world to, um, to see that. Okay, Charles, thanks for sharing us your thoughts today. Congratulations on your nominations in the World Travel Award. Thank you very much. Thank you.